quick update. We are a couple days into Hurricane Florence, which was very gracious of her to uh, basically skirt down underneath us and not impact us pretty much. We just got some rain. So, um, update here on the hood for ventilation. I'm putting together this little insert that will have a French cleat that will be, uh, you know, kind of suspended and then locked in place so it doesn't fall because we're I'm going to be, you know, melting lead for bullet casting. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, I just have some deck boards here. I have a 2x4 for the top. And I'm going to be using this cardboard underneath here to make a basically a hood all around. So I have a couple more framing things to do. Like I think I want to put a piece across here. Just maybe not. It's getting kind of heavy. I don't want it to be that heavy. But it's going to go right in the middle there. And we'll get you updated. Alright, the hood is... Oh, well, nothing's ever completely done, but it's done enough to start casting, in my opinion. Once I get a small uh, fan in the window there. But it really turned out great. It's, it took a little longer for the hood than I thought it would. But you see I'll be sitting here and I'll be casting at this station. Fumes will go... Well, the idea anyway is that all the fumes will go up into that hood and out. All right, so I'm going to start putting together the presses and everything, and then I'll, once I do that, and get everything set up, that'll be the last episode, if you will, of this reloading and casting bench series. Okay, quick update on the reloading bench. We have everything staged, ready to do the final install, which I'll do later on this afternoon. We have a very cheap fan that I got from the big W store. $15 to get that fan, so that was good. We'll put that in the window there uh, behind the hood and we have the melting pot for the lead and then I've got all the other stuff here powder measure and the rock chucker press with the dies and then the lube bullet lube right here and then, of course, I did some at my buddy's house. We did uh, do some bullets right here, some more. So, getting close to being um, self-sufficient here on the reloading. Instead of having to go over to a buddy's house and do it. So, we'll keep you updated. All right, final episode. We are all done with the reloading and casting bench. And I've mounted the presses and we'll take a look over here. On the left is the bullet lube press. On the middle is the rock chucker press, uh, D-primer also, and then we have the powder measure set, uh, station. We have a very precise little, on the bottom left, a digital scale in grains, 
we have the old-fashioned RCBS uh, scale right there as a backup and then of course a RCBS powder measure all right I'm very excited to finally be self-sufficient and really pleased with how this casting and reloading bench turned out thanks so much for watching and please give me some comments tell me what you think signing off